Hey y'all, this is Ellie with The World is Travel. I'm so excited to share the vlog from my first ever solo trip. I spent four days in Germany all alone and have a lot to tell you. So let's start with day one in Frankfurt. I landed at Frankfurt Han Airport late at night and took a shuttle bus to Frankfurt Central Station. I also shared a video about Frankfurt Han Airport, so make sure to check it out as well. I had some sleep in the hostel, worked for a few hours, and got ready for the day. The first place I was going to explore was the financial center. But first, let me tell you about my adventures the night I came to the central station. Alright, I found a much better place. It's a bit loud because of the traffic, but it's better than it was a few minutes ago. So, I booked a hotel, I mean the hostel, just to sleep for a few hours there. Uh, and it turned out that it's located on the red light street. You know what it means? I uh, remember the movie Home Alone Part 2 when Kevin went to the Central Park in New York. So yesterday I was Kevin. A lot of people were on the street during the night. Uh, you know, homeless people, drug dealers. So I arrived to Frankfurt at 1.30 a.m. So it was a deep night and it took me 10 minutes to go to my hostel. And during those 10 minutes, <laughs> I thought I would be robbed, I don't know. And the most interesting part was when I arrived to the hostel. There was a police next to the hostel and it looked like somebody had a fight or maybe somebody was killed. I don't know, there was blood right in front of the hostel, I mean in the front door. Hopefully I will not have any adventures like this today. Even though it's foggy, I can barely see the skyscrapers. I'll try to show you Frankfurt the best way I can. Did you know that Frankfurt is sometimes called a German Manhattan? Why? First of all, it's the financial center of Germany and one of the most important financial hubs in Europe. There are around 200 banks and different stock exchanges in the city. They even have the statues of bull and bear in front of the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Another reason is the skyscrapers. Most of the highest skyscrapers in Germany are located here. Frankfurt is home for Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, or simply Goethe, and you will come across the Goethe Square, his statue, house, Goethe University. So everything here reminds you of this German literary figure. The second place I checked in Frankfurt was Hauptwache. It is located in the city center, and some people call it the real heart of Frankfurt. During the World War II, this place was completely burned out, but in 1945 it was reopened. Now this square is a paradise for people who love shopping. Look at my hands. It's freezing outside. I actually checked the weather forecast and it said it would be 7 degrees Celsius, but it feels like it's zero or two below zero. It's really freezing. So I guess I need to buy some, some gloves here. Or I could keep buying hot tea all the time because till the end of the day it would be frozen, <laughs> honestly. But anyway, I think it would be nice to show you guys some shopping malls too. In order to enter the shopping mall, I had to show my vaccination certificate and ID, or passport. So this mall is called Galleria and it's pretty huge. When I went 
went up to level 4, I accidentally came across this beautiful panoramic view. Okay guys, a few words about regulations. It's really important and I do not want to skip it. So there is a 2G rule here in Germany, so it means that you have to be fully vaccinated in order to enter any restaurant, hotel, um, I don't know, train. <laughs> so, and some of the cafes require 2G+. Plus. What it means? It means that you have to be fully vaccinated and you have to do your booster. Since I do not have it yet, so I could not see it inside of the Starbucks, Sorry for confusion, guys. So if you do not have your booster yet, you can provide the PCR test or antigen test that is valid for 24 hours. So it's 12.20 p.m. and I want to find my hotel for the next two nights in Frankfurt. And guess what? It's also located on the red light street. Wow, <laughs> I'm so lucky. <laughs> So I stayed in a four-star hotel that is located next to the central station. And that's the main reason why it was much cheaper than I expected. But anyway, I love my room, which was clean and tidy. I can definitely recommend this hotel, but guys, do not travel alone if you want to stay in this district. better now <laughs> so I had some rest in my room by the way I got a double room instead of a single room for free lucky for me <laughs> and the plan is to go to the old town first see what's cool about that and then go and explore a really cute neighborhood which is called hold on Sachsenhausen oh my god I apologize for my German pronunciation and I will also go to a Adolf Wagner restaurant and try some traditional food. Yeah, green sauce and apple wine. So, yeah, stay tuned. Actually, when I left hotel, it was already 3 p.m. and it gets dark in Frankfurt in 5 p.m. So I decided to go straight to Sachsenhausen and explore the district. One of my favorite places here is the Key. Although it was a bit windy because of the river, I still enjoy the view of the financial center. If you come here in April or May, make sure to book the boat trip, I think it's marvelous. Sachsenhausen is a district on the southern bank of Main River, and it used to be a separate village till the end of the 19th century. You know, I found this place so lovely. Sachsenhausen is known for the Riverside Museums, Apple Wine Pops, German restaurants, and authentic houses. By the way, the district is partly preserved compared to the Altstadt that was heavily bombed during the World War II.
What I love the most about Frankfurt is its diverse architecture. On one side, it's a lovely district full of authentic houses. And on another side, it's a huge financial hub full of skyscrapers and offices. to order a vegetarian tuna sauce and apple wine. It's super nice in here, but the atmosphere is so great. Like everyone is chatting and you know enjoying their meal. So yeah, I think I will have fun here. Can I order this vegetarian tuna sauce? Yeah. And apple wine. Oh. Yeah. Where are my curves? Oh, great. Thank you. It took him like 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. Oh, it tastes like cider, like a dry cider with no sugar. I love it. Yeah, that's actually what I prefer uh, most of the time. Like cider with no sugar. I hate this sweet taste, you know, but this one is good. A lot of people recommended visiting this place and trying the apple wine. What's special about it? The wine is made the traditional way, without adding sugar and with complete fermentation. The first glass of apple wine was served in 1931. As with the Grüner sauce, it tastes okay, but I wouldn't order the same one again. So, the first day in Frankfurt was adventurous. In the next video, I'll finally reach the old town, show you a beautiful Frankfurt cathedral, mine tower and the iron bridge. I'll also visit another lovely neighborhood and tell you about my fear which I acquired in Frankfurt. So, stay tuned and travel with the worldest!